inviting all of you here together today is important for me to, gives me the opportunity to share with you my motivation. It gives me the opportunity to share with, with you what, what my passions are. It gives you the opportunity to get to know me a little bit better, because that's also important. And finally, it gives me the opportunity to tell you what I stand for and how I will represent your interests when you send me to Phoenix. I, I stand for a fully supporting and adequately funding public education. Public education. I grew up in a single parent home. There wasn't very much money. There wasn't certainly no money left over for uh, for college. In fact, my mom is here today. Everybody in this room at least once. <laughs> She's proud. My mom is proud. So let me tell you, me, I'm grateful. I'm grateful because from her, from watching her, I learned the meaning of respect. I learned the meaning and importance of hard work and dedication. So thank you. Thank you, Mom. I have benefited benefited from an outstanding education in the public school system. I, I, and through that education, I was able to get a, a, a full scholarship to college. After college, I went to medical school with the help of low interest rate student loans. After medical school, I paid those loans back by serving in the United States Navy, as Mark mentioned. And uh, uh, without access to public education, I'm certain I wouldn't be the successful physician and surgeon that I am today. I serve as an example that access to an outstanding public, edu public education leads to the foundation and infrastructure upon which a rewarding career and successful career can be built. And when, and when the students of Arizona public schools are given those tools to build this foundation, jobs will follow. Industry, business, large and small will come to Arizona to hire our, our talented uh, well-trained students. So education is a passion of mine, but I do want to move on to something else that I'm very passionate about, and that is uh, re reproductive health care. Yeah. I, I stand for a woman's right to choose. Yeah. In fact, I want to highlight that lack of education about your own body, lack of education about how contraception works, lack of education about how to avoid an unwanted pregnancy, that's what brings young people needlessly into the healthcare system today. Oh, yeah. I, want, I want to emphasize that we are right on track. Abortion rates are low, the lowest they've been in 30 years. And this is due to highly effective contraception methods and robust education systems that teach our young people how to avoid unwanted pregnancy. We are moving forward, but our current legislature and the leadership in our current legislature wants to move us backwards. They want to limit a woman's access to reproductive health care. They want to limit programs that teach young Arizonans how to avoid unwanted pregnancies. I will work to expand a woman's access to safe and effective contraception. Yeah. I will protect a woman's right to choose what happens to her own body. Yeah. Another issue that is important to me, something that is important to the majority of, Arizona, the majority of Arizonans and, and the majority of Americans, in fact, certainly important, important to these two people right here next to me, is uh, the issue of responsible, responsible gun ownership legislation. Yeah. I stand for universal background check. Yeah. Let me explain to you, this issue is not simply one-sided or one-faceted as some people like to paint it. This is not about one group of people who want to take away everyone's guns. This is not about another group of people who want everyone to have as many guns as they want. This is about the people in the middle. This is about the people in the middle, you and me, who want to find a solution to keep guns out of criminals' hands and out of the hands of mentally unstable individuals. Yeah. Like I said, the, majority, the 
of the Garden of Arizona feel this way. This discussion needs to be had in the legislature. These debates need to be uh, begun. Our voices need to be heard. We must find a middle ground. There is a middle ground where the, the responsible, law-abiding Arizonans' rights are protected at the same time that we keep guns out of the hands of mentally unstable people and criminals. That is the middle ground that we're searching for. I want to go to Phoenix to find that middle ground. I want to go to Phoenix to keep us safe. I have a lot of issues that I'm passionate about, but there's just two more and then we'll be done. Um, <laughs> another vital issue that's gaining traction across the nation that Arizona is shying away from is the right to marry the person of your choice. for marriage equality. <laughs> 17 states now have passed uh, same-sex marriage laws. That leaves 33 states that still don't guarantee marriage equality. I want to ensure that Arizona is not the last state to lose its prejudice. <laughs> I want to ensure Arizonans celebrate the union between two people and no longer interfere with the very personal choice of choosing your spouse. One final issue that has recently been in the news around Tucson and of course around Arizona is the attempts of our current legislature leadership to limit voter access to the polls. I stand for making it easier to vote, not harder. focused and designed to increase voter participation, to broaden voters coming to the polls, not to exclude voters. Our legislative leadership wants to exclude voters from the democratic process. I will work hard to protect the right to vote of all Arizonans. And finally, I, I don't need to remind anyone in this room that Legislative District 9 is a democratic district. We have an advantage. We need to send two Democrats to the House in 2015. two Democrats now. I am looking forward to working with Victoria Steele as she continues to demonstrate the leadership qualities that I aspire to. Thank you, Victoria. To sum everything up, I'm asking you to let me bring my passion to the Capitol. I will work hard for you to protect the principles and values that we share that everyone in this room shares. So thank you very much. I, I, I want to take just another second to, to, to ask my campaign manager to come up and have the final word. She's always the first one to remind me that she gets the final word. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, everyone in this room knows Cheryl Page. Yeah. Yeah. To, to thank Cheryl. Uh, thank you, Cheryl. You have my deepest gratitude for reaching out to me and, and letting me know that I can do this. And letting me know that I would want to do this. Because you're right. <laughs> I want to do this. I don't know reason at home. I really want to do it. So again, thank you everyone for your support. Thank you for showing up today. I really want to tell you that you, everyone has my deepest gratitude. Thank you, Mark and Gabby. And I really appreciate it. So. <laughs>